Las Vegas, one of the most visited cities in the world. But wait, what makes it the most visited and why? Just having fun in Vegas, Las Vegas. Everyone knows that Vegas is known for prostitution and gambling, but there is so much more to it and that you would probably never think of. So stick around with me as I explore the city with inside and out. I'm taking off from Kansas City, a city that I thought was cool until I found Las Vegas, a way cooler city. It is called Sin City, but it has other names as well, like Lost Wages, the entertainment capital of the world, the marriage capital of the world, the divorce capital of America, the gambling capital of the world, the neon capital of the world, the city of light, the city of second chances, the city that never sleeps, Hot Vegas and Disneyland for adults, the glitter gulch, the desert oasis, and many more. After visiting Vegas, I can confirm that all of the nicknames are true and most of them are right on point. While I was in flight, I had no idea what I was going to see or do except for some casinos and live shows. But I knew that I was ready to explore the city with an open mind. I chose Spirit Airlines because it was cheap and you don't get much free stuff like free check-in bags or Wi-Fi or snacks kind of things. But if you don't care about these services, then you'll get the best bang for your bucks. And I had the window seat and I love to look outside of the window. So I enjoyed all the clouds, mountains and after 2 hours and 45 minutes of flying, I reached Vegas. From that airplane view, it looked like just another city, but when I made it to the airport, it was like no other airports. Oh my god, they have casinos at the airport. Digital billboards are everywhere, so much advertising. As working in the entertainment industry myself, I know how important it is to advertise or promote your work. And I was blown away by the advertising they do here. They know what they are doing. While waiting for the taxi at the airport, I realized that most of the taxis also have advertisements on top of them. What a great idea for promotion and it gives a chance for the cab drivers to make more money and more advertising for the brands and companies. While going to the hotel, I was blown away by its cleanliness and palm trees because I didn't expect palm trees in Vegas. Oh, it's fancy. One more. Oh. And there comes the strip area of Vegas. The place that Vegas is known for. On the iconic Las Vegas Strip, you'll find mashup replicas of the world's most iconic places like Egypt, Venice, Paris, and Coliseum, dancing fountains, erupting volcanoes, singing gondoliers, roller coasters, and the world's tallest observation wheel. Wow. We stayed in the Mirage Hotel and I was surprised by how big and how cool the hotel is. The room was really nice with an amazing view of the strip. So far, this was one of the best hotels I ever stayed. So this is the hotel room guys. It's so nice, clean. It has really amazing view. You can see over there. And uh, this is the name of the hotel, the Mirage. There is a Ferris wheel down there and it's amazing.
It costs a lot to stay in Vegas, so we had only three days to explore. Nobody wants to go there. The issue between God and man is sin. So we didn't waste our time and started exploring the city right away. I was blown away by these huge advertising screens along the strip. Just decided to go into the Caesar's Palace and like its name says, it was very well designed like a palace. It has five different buildings but we visited only one of them that has all the different shops and restaurants and it has a really cool ceiling. They have really high-end shops like Gucci, Prada, Louis Vuitton and other brands. Walking along the strip, I saw the Guy Fieri's kitchen and had the best veggie burger of my life. I don't know how I'm supposed to eat this burger. It's so big. I ate so much that I was full and could walk much, so I headed back to hotel and rested for a while. Now it was the time for the best show of my life, Mystère by Cirque du Soleil. I could film only 1% of it, but it was a phenomenal show. After the show, we went to the Venetian Resort, which is themed like Venice, Italy, and from there we went to the famous fountains of the Bellagio Hotel and On the way there, we saw the Flamingo Hotel, which is kind of old Las Vegas style, but it's really cool. And here we are at the Bellagio Hotel and its fountain. Enjoy! After seeing the fountains, I was very tired. So I decided to go back to the hotel and have a good night's sleep. Good night guys, see you tomorrow.